Hi guys, this is Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. I will be looking at a clock widget. You know, we all know what widgets are. Our widgets are like a short snippet you know, of an application. You, are, you mostly find it in your Android device uh, sitting side by side with the apps uh, uh, button you know, on the home screen of your device. All right, so we'll be creating a clock widget or a customized clock widget that you can use and in, uh, in the course of your uh, your display in your home screen you know you can also manipulate it to do some other funky things all right uh, I'll be moving straight to Android studio which is my development environment for this uh, particular application okay and I'll be explaining in details how the uh, the coding of the application actually flows all right uh, in my view.gradle, the project and the model session we have not much uh, inclusion. We just have the SDK, the compiler SDK version 16, and the minimal SDK version 10, and target SDK version 16. All right, uh, the dependency is just one dependency. Uh, the support version 4, 18.0.0. Uh, okay, let's look at the project session of uh, view.gradle, just the normal. Uh, uh, three directories, uh, the build scripts, the dependency, calling the build gradle 1.5.0, right? That's fine. I'll be moving straight to rest uh, the layout files of this application, which is the URL of the application. Let's talk about the activity main XML, all right? Uh, let's go to the text section for that to initialize. And let me explain how the uh, URL of the application actually is. Uh, first of all, we have the relative layout, calling the tools and the ads, you know, the Google ads. The Android layout and width, uh, width and height is match parent. We call it a background of grid. The padding bottom, padding left, right up are all 16 dps, and the context is from the main activity of this particular application. Uh, we have an image view with an idea of logo. And also, the center of horizontal is true, and we're calling the drawable of logo. Okay, I'll actually show you the drawables uh, uh, PNG files. The text we followed afterwards, we assign an ID to it called info. The layout with an ID is wrap content, uh, center of horizontal true, and the text on it is calling, calling from the string info. No, I won't click on it, so we are, we'll be able to see what this text actually is. Our custom clock can be found in the widget gallery, all right? And the text color is white, FFF. We have three buttons. The first button is for the website, which is just an intent calling your the particular URI or URL of the website with the text website. Okay. Another button is more. Okay. For more apps, probably taking it to Google Play, but these are actually coded. Uh, this is going to take me to uh, my, my YouTube uh, channel. We have another button that is actually going to close the application with the text close. The ID is close page. All right, so let's move to the app widget info, the info of the of the widget. Okay, we have the initialized layout, calling the layout main. I think you should be able to know how to include this. You know, the layout main, that's the main.xml. The minimum height and the minimum width is uh, 72 dps. Update period milliseconds, that is the updating is uh, 18 seconds. And the resize mode is horizontal and also vertical, other horizontal or vertical. Okay, let's look at uh, main.xml. All right, there's a relative layout with the width and height match parent. The orientation is vertical and the layout gravity is center. And we have an, an analog clock. Look at the way I included the tag. This is an analog. We know, all know what analog is. Uh, the circle from 1 to 12 that continue to have the uh, the hour, the seconds, and the minute, and ticking, ticking, tick tac. All right, it's different from the digital. This is an analog clock. Okay, the layout with a night wrap content, center result are true, and we have a drawable for this clock called example clock face from the drawable file. Okay, let's look at this drawable and let's see what uh, the analog clock actually has. Okay, this is a launcher. All right. There's a clock face. All right. This is how this uh, 
particular widget is going to have this is the background of the widget you can decide to design yours using photoshop you know do something more funky or the thing this cool and funny all right um before we move straight to our java class i think we have one other xml we should look at let's look at the main.xml or these are the settings and let's look at our values you know where we have the strings that actually have the uh the the, uh, the text file of this application the app name the info and the color name all right that's short okay uh what do you have in access you know that's our google uh ads which i'm not uh, actually incorporating it so let's move straight to our java class let's explain how the logic of the application is we are right inside the main activity uh, where it extends activity with the three buttons we talked about okay now we have an uncreate method with the super uncreate calling the activity main xml now we're going to initiate these buttons getting the id the website for the first one uh we set an unclick listener to this uh button and we pass the uri of the button you know calling the intent with the, the uri http www deliverstudios.com so it is going to call an intent it's going to pass to the corresponding application in your device to pick it up the second button also is doing the same thing you know this time it's passing another uri which is by youtube channel okay calling its id and the third button is for the close page which is actually going to close the application we set an unclick listener to it with a finish method the uh the input finish method of the app activity now let's look at the widget provider all right okay uh this actually extends the app widget provider you know now we have the widget instantiated it extends this and we have it incorporated into it now let's look at our manifest our manifest um has two permissions the internet and the access network state okay I want you to get that clearly um also i want you to look at the widget session which is the receiver which is actually receiving from the widget provider um class with an icon drawable logo the label clock now there's an intent fielder okay that is actually calling the app widget update We're gonna update this and also the metadata of the app widget provider calling from the resource the layout app widget info this xml we talked about which is actually going to be updating the period by milliseconds that's clear i think very short uh in um actually developing something after this where we have a widget a full-blown widget uh that we actually be listening to some json files and displaying them just like a news widget that's the next tutorial that's all the next uh, development i'm actually uh putting together immediately after this all right i would like to show you these uh in my emulator it might not be smooth because i'm actually using uh the inbuilt emulator which is uh slightly slow but but it's fine oh okay all right this is the uh, home screen of the application where we have my website taken out to the website the more info and the clothes so we have an instruction here telling us that our custom clock can be found in the widget gallery it is called a custom clock right let's look at the widget gallery let's go back let's look at our widget gallery maybe we'll find our custom clock there okay you have to go to your the menu where you have your app okay this is the these are the two buttons i'm talking about you have the apps and the widgets okay let's go for widgets okay we can search for our custom clerk okay you notice this is our custom clerk let's click on it okay we need to hold and pick it so let's hold and pick it Let's drag it. I'm going to drag it here. Okay. We need 
need to put it somewhere. Uh, yeah, I would like you to actually try this on your real device. You know, it's more better on a real device. It's an emulator. Need to touch a node on it. Okay. It's not actually giving me... I think I can find it somewhere there. Okay, no. Let me go back. Okay. I would like you to try this in your. notice this wow you can see it now it has replaced uh the the default uh clock which is quite beautiful you know holding on to the particular time in question and this is cool so you can actually redesign this and have uh, something like um a different uh, PSD or some um, different image, but it's fine. So this is how to actually create a clock widget and actually have your own desktop widget, you know, included in your mobile application. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me. I hope you've been able to, you know, to pick up one or two things in this course of the tutorial, majorly on how to create a widget. All right, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to upload the source code my github account have a wonderful time bye bye